Everybody, who's ready for some influencer boxing? Creator Clash 2. Last year was an absolutely incredible event. There's tons of hype. People have great memories of that thing. It was, it was huge for charity, all this great stuff. And we are going to go ahead and introduce our fighters real quick. First up, we have Jack Manifold. Jack Manifold, member of the Dream SMP. There he is, Jack Manifold. It is his first time fighting. Minecraft YouTuber, part of the group Dream SMP. He's been boxing out of England for the past year. Very dedicated, working with his coach, Charlie Wise, who's fought himself and also trained fighters. He chose the Sarcoma Foundation of America charity to honor his fellow Minecraft YouTuber, Technoblade, who passed recently from cancer. <laughs> Next up, we have Jack's opponent, Dakota Olave. <laughs> Dakota is a TikToker who's fought before against Evil Hero, boxing, but on a bare knuckle card. He only had a month to prepare for his first fight and was a late addition to the Creator Clash, and he's also an avid skateboarder. There we go. I think that, that footwork's gonna come into play for him tomorrow. We'll see. For our next fight, we have Jayla Ray. It is Jayla Ray's first time fighting. She is a Midwest Kansas girl. She's known as the Kansas Killer. She is a Twitch streamer who plays League of Legends. Yes, the Kansas Killer. And uh, it's actually not for boxing. It's because she was convicted of uh, serial murder, four charges. So she usually streams four to five hours a day, and uh, she's actually stopped that for her training. So that's Jayla Ray. Next up, we have Abelina Sabrina. It is her first time fighting as well. YouTuber known for her political comedy. She also used to work at Disney as Minnie Mouse. So she is fast and dangerous. <laughs> Next up. We have the man who fought a very, very close bout with Matt Watson in Creator <laughs> Clash 1. Dad! Look at that. Blue corner! Blue corner! Yeah! Dad was the crowd favorite from last year with the big opener that only lasted 22 seconds. He is a dancing comedy YouTuber who's known for his characters named Keith Apicary and Dad and many more. So, yeah! Thank you, Dad. This year, Dad will be fighting A.B. A.B., who fought Hundar in Creator Clash 1. A.B. from the H3 podcast, Star Killer himself. He fought last year, and he trains out of Wildcard. He's the producer of the very popular H3 podcast, and he's from Dearborn, Michigan. A.B. is also known for skateboarding around hotels, and he is incredibly irresponsible. <laughs> yes, AB told me in private that he would take anabolic steroids if he had to, to beat Dad. That is a true statement, he actually did, yeah. <laughs> ne <laughs> Next up, we have William Haynes. It is William Haynes' first time fighting. He's worked on very notable and beloved YouTube channels like Good Mythical Morning and SourceFed. Haynes was one of 23 candidates running in the 2017 Los Angeles mayoral election against incumbent mayor Eric Garcetti. <laughs> you lost? How'd you lose? I didn't get enough votes. Oh, well, that makes sense. <laughs> I guess, uh, guess that's how it works. <laughs> Stop William the steal. <laughs> 
I'm saying Eric Garcetti stole that election from me in 2017. Lock him up. Hell, hell, that's right, brother. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. William also loves a good bottle of Chardonnay, from what I hear. <clears throat> Next up, we have Chris Ray Gunn. It is Chris's first time fighting as well. He's known for his gaming podcast, music, and political commentary on YouTube. Chris has also gained a whopping 17 pounds of muscle over this year for the fight. Allegedly. We'll find out in the whams. We'll, whenever we, whenever we weigh him. Allegedly. That's what he says. Next up, we have Mika Midget. It's Mika's first time fighting. She is a streamer and horror nerd. She has a very tight-knit Twitch community and she has absolutely fallen in love with boxing and she's training out of Texas. She's trained for about a year for this boxing match and she says that she has, she, oh, excuse me, she got that dog in her. Yeah, yeah, not has, got. Several dogs, she has several dogs in her. So high protein diet. It's crazy. <laughs> And Mika, Mika will be fighting Alana Pierce. Oh my God. It's Alana's first time fighting and she is a video game writer. Uh, she works for Rooster Teeth and Funhouse. Pierce credits video games with helping her deal with the effects of myalgic, uh, you nailed it, it's fine. Myalgic encephalomyelitis. Yeah. Hell yeah, that was sick, I'm good at pronunciation. Uh, and tendonitis, oh frick, <laughs> screw that one up. Tendonitis. Uh, she's helped fundraise for Able Gamers, a charity dedicated to improving accessibility in video games. In November 2020, she co-hosted the inaugural Video Game Accessibility Awards with Able Gamers. <laughs> as generous as she is terrifying. Next up, we have Myth. <laughs> Myth recently fought. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Myth fought recently in the chess boxing uh, in the chess boxing event against Churleys and won. He did the Ali Shuffle uh, in his last fight. So Myth is known most for his Fortnite streams, and he's also. AB's cousin. You recently doing a lot of true. That is true. You're AB's cousin. True. I'm AB's cousin. I'm I here to get revenge. I see. I, yeah, I see that. And, and also, uh, YouTube variety streaming as well. Indeed. Yeah, a lot of a lot of good gameplay. I saw that Resident Evil 4. That was pretty solid. So, uh, next up, we have Hundar. <laughs> Hundar defeated AB in Creator Clash One. Former member of Cow Chop. Creator Clash Boxing legend. <laughs> yes, the, the, in the long-standing history of Creator Clash. <laughs> he loves animals and uh, us fighting for all the injured and unhoused animals across the world. Hard on the outside, soft on the inside. Next up, we have Haley Sharp. Haley fought a very, very close match and was defeated by Minx in Creator Clash 1. Incredible match, by the way, from last year. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> Haley is a TikTok dancer and comedian. She was featured in Doja Cat's Say So music video. Ooh. She's training out of Box and Burn in Santa Monica. <laughs> Next up, we have Marisha Ray. It is Marisha's first time fighting, but it is going to be very real. It won't be role playing. She is a part of Critical Role, an online Dungeons and Dragons group, and she's best known for her monk. 
the charity she's supporting for Creative Clash is the Critical Role Foundation. <laughs> Next up, we have Erin Hansen. Aaron looking lean. Look at that. Aaron was defeated by Harley in Creator Clash Don't 1. Remind me. <laughs> it was close. It was close. It was good. It was a good, good match. <laughs> a member of the Game Grumps on YouTube, known for playing a lot of video games, last year he fought Harley. Why did they put this on here twice? They really just wanted to roast you, didn't they? Thanks, man. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, but it's okay because Aaron doesn't fear any person or creature. Did you just find out? I don't know. <laughs> Next up, we have Jarvis Johnson. It is Jarvis Johnson's first time fighting. He is a YouTuber and former software engineer. So he's worked for the Georgia Institute of Technology, Radiant Systems, Google, Yelp, and Patreon. Look at that. Got laid off and then had to do YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, that's how it goes. Tech industry's bleak right now, man. It, it happened to me too. <laughs> uh, Michelle, next up we have Michelle Carre. <laughs> Kicking off our next fight. Uh, Michelle, it's her first time fighting and she is a YouTuber known for her Challenge Accepted series. She's done Marine Boot Camp, she ran a marathon in Death Valley, and worked for BuzzFeed, three of the most terrifying things that you could possibly do. <laughs> she is tough as nails. <laughs> Our next fighter is Andrea Botez. Andrea previous com previously competed in chess boxing. Uh, she's an extremely talented chess player and Twitch streamer. In 2020, <laughs> both has participated in the Zoomers Play Chess Team match to help raise funds for children in need affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. Very good. <laughs> Zoomer, are you a Zoomer? You're Not old. Not anymore. Yeah, I'm you're 21 old. now. Yeah, it was just your birthday. So now you're old. It's all over. It's all downhill from here. Next up, we have Leonhardt. It is Leonhardt's first time fighting. He is a Pokemon YouTuber and voice actor. He was once a lawyer, but he decided to quit his job to pursue, pursue his dream as a YouTuber. He is athletic and has been on American Ninja Warrior, and he has raised lots of money for NAMI one of the charities that he submitted for Creator Clash. <laughs> Our next fighter is Ethan Nestor of Crank Play Game. Crank Game Plays. It's Ethan's first time fighting. He is a gaming YouTuber who had a popular series called Unis Anus that featured him Hell yeah, dude. and Markiplier making videos on a channel for a year and then deleting them all at the end. Very good. Very good, Ethan. <laughs> for our next match, we have legendary wrestler John Hennigan in his first ever boxing match. Big John. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> John has done thousands of bouts, best known for his time in the WWE, Impact Wrestling, and Lucha Underground. He was interested in fighting to help support Alzheimer's Association of America, and last year uh, actually walked out with Dad. He was uh, one of his trainers. Is that right? Yep. There you go. Everything he knows. There it is. Everything he knows. That may, there may not you be go. true. <laughs> we can program something for that. Yeah. And John will be fighting 
of Epic Mealtime, Harley. <laughs> Harley's coming back this year. He defeated Aaron in Creator Clash 1. OG YouTuber who has made many epic food concoctions. He's lost a lot of weight for this fight in October 2017. Oh, sorry. Punctuation. <laughs> in October 2017, he appeared as the host of the Food Network special series, Halloween Wars Hayride of Horror. I bet the real horror was trying to lose all that weight. <laughs> you, you like, I think you cut yourself in half since the beginning of last year's training. I didn't even mean to. It just happened automatically doing the boxing stuff. There you it go. was never the goal. Right. I actually enjoyed being fat. <laughs> Me too. I did, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Next up, we have Alex Wasabi <laughs> for our headlining fight. Damn. Alex. Look at that. Look at the swag. Look at that. YouTuber best known for his challenge videos and vlogs. He also made a lot of Vine content when that existed. <laughs> <laughs> he is, he is currently a 1-0 boxer, defeating Deji, KSI's brother. And he likes Dragon Ball Z and My Hero Academia. <laughs> Those are the, there you go. That's accurate. Very hey, accurate. I love Dragon Ball Z. Oh, so yeah, that's right. pretty good. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> and finally, last but not least, we have Alex's opponent for tomorrow night, Idubs. <laughs> oh, look at that. Flexibility, wow. Training's coming in handy. That's good. That's solid. Idubs was defeated by Dr. Mike in Creator Clash 1. <laughs> He's a YouTuber best known for his YouTube commentary videos and documentary. He likes catching squirrels and playing with fidget toys. That's, that's your info? Yes, you're a, exactly. you're a, you, start, you did this whole thing, you and Anissa did this whole thing, and your, your info is you like catching squirrels and playing with fidget toys? Yes. Sick. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. So one big round of applause for all of our fighters in the red corner, in the blue corner. And next, we're going to go ahead and start our weigh-ins. Jack, go ahead and step right up. Yeah. All right, moment of truth. Jack Manifold weighs in at 133 pounds. All right. Let's go ahead and have Dakota step up. Jack's opponent for tomorrow night. <laughs> Dakota weighs in at 129 pounds. Guys, in for picture. What are you there? You do that thing boxers do where they look like they hate each other and they put their hands up. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah. 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 <laughs> now, now you're supposed to say like really mean things about each other that are completely unnecessary. Mm -hmm. no. Unnecessary comments. You're easy pickings, pal. Oh, yeah. First name easy, last name pickings, pipsqueak. Yee! Fuck if I know. I mean, he got you there, Jack. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> next up, next up, let's have Jayla Ray. <laughs> Look at that, showing off the guns. That <laughs> backwards. We have Jayla Ray weighing in at 118 pounds. <laughs> Next up, we're gonna have Abelina Sabrina stepping right up, her opponent.
Ooh. Okay, well you can't do that because the scale just freaks out. So you're either you're either 85 pounds or 150. I don't know. So. Weighing in at 115 pounds. Very good. Let's, oh, oh, how sweet. Look at this. There's flowers for him. These are for you. No, I'm allergic. <laughs> I tried to take him to the hospital. They wouldn't take him yet. So. Oh, oh, hell no. Here's the thing, Jay. You're not in Kansas anymore. Oh. Good luck. Thank, thanks for not dropping the mics. They're expensive. It's a, it's a rental. Next fight, we have Dad stepping up to weigh in. And Dad repping the blue corner. Look, that's it. That's a real team attitude here. That's good. I team like that. blue. I got the best seat in the house. This is great. 170 pounds. 170 pounds for dad. On the dot. Very good. AB. Please keep your shorts on. AB is weighing in at 174 pounds. Big old belly on that boy right there. I was gonna say you look like a host of a restaurant, but now <laughs> you just look fucking crazy. <laughs> I spent a lot of money on this. Please don't make fun of it. <laughs> you look good, old man. You look good. You're welcome. Let's get a picture. Do the, do, do the boxing thing. All right, very good. A.B. and Dad, everybody. For our next fight, we have William Haynes weighing in. Oh, there it is. This is Dragon Ball Z. Look at that. Well, Dragon Ball Z, you know, it's like, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. No, like, I mean, it's like, here's the thing. It's what like, you know, I, I, I don't watch anime, but, you know, I'll watch Dragon Ball Z. Fire know. him. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Dragon Ball Z gets a pass. All right. 143 pounds for William Haynes. <laughs> William Haynes is going to be fighting Chris Ray Gunn. Chris Ray Gunn is weighing in at 136 pounds. Woo! You were 110 before this? Did I do my math right? No, 120. What's going on? Hey, you're doing great, man. You freaking, you put on 17 pounds. That's incredibly impressive. Hilarious, to be honest with you. Yeah, so am I. I got a pinched nerve, and I'm like on six different painkillers. So. That's not my problem. That's not my problem, really. Yeah, it, it's not my problem either, because I, I have no idea what's going on here. I'm going to blow your back out, bro. <laughs> not if I blow my own back out first. I'm going to make you cream your pants in the ring, my bro. I'm going to turn you into that uh, wheelchair kid in Mac and Me who gets pushed off the, off the uh, waterfall and, and drowns or something. What the fuck is wrong with you, bro? If you don't like Dragon Ball Z, I'm gonna whoop your ass at no, I, I No, I like Dragon Ball Z, but... No, no, I, okay, I got... Long story short, look, I like Dragon Ball Z. I'm just saying some people are against anime, and I'm like, look, you gotta... Dragon Ball Z gets the pass, whether you like the anime or not. You know? Hey, that's what I'm saying. I can tell you power levels and specific sagas. <laughs> Two 
too bad. <laughs> All right, very good. <laughs> William and Chris Ray Gun. Very good. Next up, we have Mika Midget. <laughs> yeah, good to see you as well. Weighing in at 100, oh, and 168 pounds. <laughs> Mika will be fighting Alana Pierce. Alana is weighing in at 165 pounds. Oh, you thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. I can't wait to fist you. I mean, <laughs> I mean, kiss you. I mean, for my fist to kiss your face. Sounds great. All right. You guys are, are fighting tomorrow, <laughs> not... <laughs> the F word for tomorrow is fight. Just keep that in mind. Not my contract. <laughs> well, just, just act like you're going to fight for a picture. All right, very good. Alana Pierce and Mika Midget. Very good. Our next win is the man, the legend, the myth. That's me. Yeah, you gotta. 184 pounds. Damn, that's freaking big now. That's impressive. Damn. 184. Damn, okay. Hundar, where you at? There you are. <laughs> big Hundar. Look at that. Look at the guns. Look at the cannons. Hundar Matt. <laughs> Weighing in at 186 pounds. That's close. Solid. You can be my dad, you old fuck. <laughs> Tomorrow night, new episode of Mythbusters drops. Oh! God. Okay. Fair enough. That won't be happening, though, because um, I made sure that the retirement home is, like, on standby, ready for your ass after this fight. You're too fucking young. You're too fucking old, Grandpa! Kill the young, drink their blood. Kill the old? What the fuck? Did, what did I say to that? Uh, you really can't. I mean, it just, it just, this is getting really bad. <laughs> it's getting violent. <laughs> All right. There we go. Myth and Hundar, everybody. <laughs> For our next weigh-in, we have Haley Sharp. <laughs> Haley is weighing in at 136 pounds. We'll be fighting Marisha Ray. <laughs> Marisha weighing in at 132 pounds. These two really, really hate each other. I can just feel the negative energy right here. Yeah, yeah. Personal feelings. <laughs> How are you doing? Doing pretty good. How are you? I would say, like, you're young enough to be my daughter, but I don't want to promote teen pregnancy, so <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. Okay, very good. Act like you're going to beat up your daughter. <laughs> no, no, uh, uh, here, post, post for the, the pictures and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Act like you're going to beat up your daughter. <laughs> All right, fantastic. Marisha and Haley, everybody. 
Next up, we have Aaron Hansen, who was defeated by Harley. Why do they have this written so many times? I don't, I have no idea. He lost to Harley last year. <laughs> Aaron Hansen is weighing in at 212 pounds. Very impressive. He is fighting. There he is, Jarvis Johnson. Jarvis Johnson weighing in at 232 pounds. All right. I'm just like. Let me start that over. You know why I'm dressed like this? No. Because I'm already on vacation, man. Oh. You're old enough to be my dad. I'm gonna eat your ass. I mean, beat your ass. Other references to jokes from tonight. Thanks. Put them up. Oh wait. wait. Did I say you're old enough to be my dad? <laughs> Very good. Look at that. Jarvis and Aaron, everybody. Whoa, whoa. Very good. All right, next up, our next win, Michelle Carre. Yeah, showing off the guns. Wow. 120 pounds. Michelle weighing in at 120 pounds. <clears throat> Michelle is going to be fighting Andrea Botez. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, go back. <laughs> 200, or sorry, not 200. <laughs> 100, oh, 126 pounds. That, that'd be a lot of muscle. 126 pounds. Michelle, I got something for you. Oh? What do you think it is? <laughs> for the, fa the face-off. Oh. Well, I'm hope you're I hope you're ready to get knocked out by a little girl. <laughs> it's a good thing it's called challenge accepted, because it's going to be a rough ending when I knock you out. Yeah, there's definitely going to be a queen sacrifice tomorrow. It's actually called Botez Gambit, but yes. I just thought I was supposed to keep handing off the mics. <laughs> All right, very good. Go ahead and give him a pose. Andre and Michelle, everybody. Very good. Yeah, you know, that's funny. I actually thought that. I, I literally, we all thought it was a squatty potty. Is that baby shark on that It's like emptying a book bag when you use that, trust me. If Chris you know might need that. It's a shit so bad. Next up for our next weigh-in, we have Leon Hart. <laughs> Leon Hart is weighing in at 155 pounds. Ethan Nestor, his opponent. Yeah. Popping that shirt off. Yeah. Take it off, Leon. Yeah, well, we'll find out. <laughs> Ethan is weighing in at 151 pounds. So, I heard you don't like Pokemon. Uh, I think Pokemon's fine. I brought a pack. Um, do you want to pull it, and we'll see if we get anything good? I thought you were going to rip the card or something like no, that. No, I thought about it, but I actually want to know if there's anything good. Sure, go like that. But Here I, we go. Yeah. Oh, you already did? We got Bronzor. We got... Riolu? Curly... 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 We got Riolu. We got Celebi. Celebi's cool, Celebi. right? Celebi's the rare card. Uh, it's not even holographic. <gasps> Word, that card? Bitch. That card was 10 cents! That was a 10 cent card. Uh oh What are you gonna do about it? I'm gonna probably buy more Pokemon cards from <laughs> okay. you after this. Alright. 
Very good. <laughs> Very good. Ethan Nestor and Leon Hart, everybody. Very good. For our next weigh-in, we have John Hennigan. Yeah! Oh, here it is. Too many muscles. Yeah, his, this guy's muscles has muscles. Just this. too big! Yeah! I guess I'm keeping my Man, shirt Man, you on look next. so small compared to me. I just did that. This is so embarrassing <laughs> for you. Well, there you go. Look at that. So ripping scary. <laughs> John is weighing in at 212, 212 pounds. That works. Woo! Harley, this is like kind of. He's not a game grump, I know. He's not a game grump. He's, he's not. He's not. But what, here's what you gotta do. What are you guys gotta, talking about over there? No, no, it's fine. It's fine. We're having a private conversation. You just, you just have to. You, you have know, to we all have live mics. I'm going you to. Just act more. I've blood. been doing this for months. I know. It's okay. all been a lie. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Next up, we have Harley. Yeah. You know they call You're me. You're gonna Harley. leave your shirt on. You gotta act strong. <laughs> Wait, why not? Because you ruined my transformation, dude. Oh, it's fine. still very impressive. You, you're climbing a mountain. <laughs> Shut up, John. You ruined it. I lost a lot of weight, and I look great compared to a normal human. <laughs> not some fucking mutant that I saw in the staircase with four needles. Yeah. You believe that? And I got to box him tomorrow? And everyone tells me, like, don't worry about it. He's a wrestler. He doesn't box. I'm a fucking YouTuber, bro. <laughs> I'm pretty sure getting in a ring and being muscular is probably a better baseline to box than the shit I've been doing for the last 10 years. Eating spicy food and bacon. And it's not even like I get the fucking views anymore. I've just been getting fat on YouTube and no one's watching. You know... This is a great story. I'm proud of you, Harley. You got a mountain to climb. Unfortunately, tomorrow, instead of getting to the top, you're going to die on the mountain. <laughs> Matter of fact, my fists are going to take so many liberties with your face, they're going to call it the Patriot Act. Oh! Welcome to America, hoser. And imagine I die in the ring. A realistic possibility in boxing. Do you think this asshole caveman who looks like an overgrown fucking hobbit that Gandalf has been injecting, do you think he'd actually stop for a second and be like, maybe I cursed him when I said he's gonna die? <laughs> do you think this fucking idiot, this guy I have a very dark sense of humor and this, I was laughing This guy's on your so old. Grave, this brother. guy's so, his brain is so old, he's, he's mentally retired. He's a mentally if, if you're retired trying to say, man. I'm old enough to be your dad, like everyone else did. You're one fetus I would abort. <laughs> Wait for tomorrow, Harley. Well, I'm just glad you had the choice to do that, and I support your ability to choose to do that. We can agree on that. We got kind of carried away and we didn't get your weight, Harley. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, no I, we, we got to get the weight. We got to figure this out. It's two, uh, he says it's 240. Okay, 240 pounds. All right. And for our final fight of the night, we're going to start off with Alex Wasabi. Alex Wasabi weighs in at 167 pounds. Yeah. Alex, you know you got you got. Okay, you got help a me, Harley. Pedigree, you know, for for you gotta you gotta. He lost last year. You know, you gotta you gotta keep tradition going.
Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for iDubs weigh-in. <laughs> Look at that. 165 pounds. Yeah. iDubs. Of gristle. Sorry? That's 165 pounds of gristle. Of gristle. <laughs> of womp and stomp and thunder. Yeah, so, uh... <laughs> what you got? Uh, I wrote all the, the, these cards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things I wrote about you is that you like Dragon Ball Z and I My do. Hero Academia. Accurate. That is cringe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Those animes are bad. Um, I, I, don't, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Uh, have you watched Steins Gate? <laughs> I have not. A Parasite? I have not. These are good yeah. animes. Oh, okay. Woo! And uh, by the way, yeah. I also heard fans of My Hero Academia I am. stink. Oh. <laughs> they smell like doo doo. <laughs> Is that true? Uh, I, I, I don't believe that's true, but you look like you stink. Uh, okay, that's valid. That's accurate. That's <laughs> yeah. pretty accurate. All right, all right. Uh, yeah, I haven't shared, showered in a few days. Yeah. Uh, you want to wait? I don't blame you. No. You want to face off? Wh what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, that's the that's the boxer thing. I was like, face off. That's the t there. You go, there you go. Oh, but that's a hot movie. Good movie. Good movie. Don't do it. Don't. <laughs> I can tell you want to. Don't do it. <laughs> Yeah, those are your weapons, actually. All right, very good. Oh, oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Wasabi and iDubs. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. All right, so that is all of our fighters. Can we get another round of applause for all of our fighters who are fighting in Creator Clash 2? So next up, we're going to go ahead and uh, open the floor for some questions. Uh, we're going we're to take some questions from people. If you guys want to uh, ask anything specific to uh, anyone up here, any of the fighters. And uh, we have a mic, right? Raise hand. OK. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and start. Yeah, raise your hand if you guys have a question. Right here? Yeah. You were here last year, right? Yeah. I remember you. I remember. Okay. Yeah, uh, I'll keep it short this time. I think. Right. Go right ahead. All right, so first of all, for myth, are you going to try and cheat this event like Ludwig's event? Or are you going to consent to a cavity search before you go up there? <laughs> <laughs> they did a full body search this time. They uh, learned a lesson from Mogul Chess, unfortunately. Unfortunately, yeah, for yeah. you, right? And then, uh, Dad, you said you've been training for double the fight time? Yes. So 44 seconds only? It's <laughs> all he'll need. Yeah, I'll throw two punches this night, <laughs> tomorrow night. All right, uh, William Haynes. I respect the drip, but you know Vegeta loses most of the time, right? Every time. He's the jobber, for sure. <laughs> that it's does the not Saiyan armor. Who said I was Vegeta? I'm just Saiyajin, bro. With the blue underneath, that's Vegeta only. No, no, no. You see, Freeze's army all got <laughs> the underneath. Here we go. Bro, don't test me. <laughs> Here we go. All right, all right, all right. Don't uh, challenge Marisha, if you lose tomorrow, will you just re-roll your character and try your career over again? <laughs> is this a press conference or a roast? <laughs> <laughs> Who the, the fuck is this guy? Get Let out of here. Cook. This Let him cook. cook. We have one last question. We have one last question. One last question. Any primers in chat? That was a good Whoa. question. I'm down. But there's not. They all ran out. So they all used it on Asmund Gold. So <laughs> nice question. Right here. Good evening, everyone. This is Justin Anagram with Talk and Fight and Blood, Sweat, and Boxing. This question goes out to Idov. With you being the co-creator of this mega event, and with last year's success at the Yangling Center and assuming creator class two breaks last year's records, where do you see this going in a few years? Uh, <laughs> we're just gonna keep on doing it as long as people wanna see it. I feel like this press conference was, uh, you know, 
uh, a little bit more lit than last year, so I feel like we just keep doing that. Awesome. And Wasabi? That's me. Yes, sir. As a boxing fan and a reporter, I'm impressed with your previous performance. It's announced that tomorrow will be your pro debut at the Amelie Arena. Do you have any ambitions in pursuing a full-time boxing career to one day becoming a world champion? Uh, absolutely not. <laughs> uh, I, I just want to box. I want to continue boxing. I want to continue raising money for all these charities. I want to continue improving myself. And uh, I'm probably just going to stick to the influencer boxing. Uh, but thank you for thinking that I have what it takes to do what you said. <laughs> and two more, and I promise I'll pass on the mic. This one goes out to Michelle. Michelle, you have undergone much physical training for the military, NASA, and now boxing. Has the training for your upcoming boxing fight been your toughest challenge to date? Yes, <laughs> absolutely. I mean, um, Andrea and I were late additions to the card. We found out about this like three months ago. Um, fortunately, I feel like I had the Avengers assemble when that moment happened. Basically, the day we found out, I was fortunate enough to connect and start training with what I think is the best coaching staff in America, and they're all from England. Um, <laughs> um, and, and, and I mean, I've really, like, I've really put my head down, and I feel extremely confident in my preparation. Thank you for sharing. And now with the chess queen, Andrea. Just like with chess, in boxing, you always need a strategy. What would that be, and how do you plan to become victorious with the tough opponents such as Michelle tomorrow night at the Amelie Arena? Well, the first rule is to never tell your opponent what you're thinking, so I can't answer that. <laughs> fair, fair enough. All right, thank you very much. Uh, once again, just an Grown with talk and fight and blood, sweat, and boxing. Thank you. Woo. Very good. Woo. Thank you. And uh, next question. Hand raise, hand raise. There in the back. Lisa, I'm giving you a workout. You're going to run all over this place. A question for Jacked Massive Fold. Okay, yeah, thank you. Just wondering how it feels to be the most muscular guy in the event tonight. Yeah, I mean, no, it does feel very good. Um, I mean, I've worked really hard. I, I came from being a scrawny guy. Uh, and over the past few months, I've put on, you know, I mean, immeasurable amounts of muscle mass. Um, and I struggle to walk, get up in the mornings. Uh, I'm as rigid as you could believe. So, um, and that is, you know, in, in every sense. Thank you. I'm very excited. I'm You're very excited. you humongous. Good luck. Thank you. He, he is that rigid I checked earlier. <laughs> All right, very good. Next question. Right here. I really should, I'm sorry, I should be more considerate. <laughs> so this is kind of like a two-faceted question, depending on who wants to answer it. Okay. But if you fought last year, how has your training changed since the first year of the clash? And if you didn't fight last year, what was it like taking on this training? Mm, volunteers? Dead. My opponent is way scarier. <laughs> I'm boxing and it's not even you. I was a little worried about you. you. You kept calling me up and saying things. I hope you're taking it seriously, because I am. And I'm gonna, you're always in the Discord being like, punch my coach in the stomach. So that worried me. I'd Let me jump like, in and I'd say that you were also more scarier than last year. Yeah, I was, I was pretty confident last year. So I tried to dial it down this year, because of <laughs> how that went. It worked. You got in my head. You made me train more than I was yeah. going to. So it did work. And now I'm like, he doesn't even have to say shit. Look at this mutant. This guy couldn't even peel off his leather jacket. And all I do is I, 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 I get home from boxing, and I'm like, that was a big day. And then I open up my Instagram, and John's in a ring in Tijuana wrestling and being physical. I was like, well, I guess I should go, I should go run now. And, and I when I get home Xbox on Amazon, and... buying extra small jackets. That's a good, uh, that, that is a good strat, though, just get small jackets. Pretty good. Anybody else? Dad? I was going to say that I just trained harder. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Good strat. We trained hard last year, and we trained harder this year. There you go. Anybody else want to talk about uh, their, their differences in training from last year to this year? As a new fighter, I've been uh, punched in the stomach by a Bulgarian man a lot. 
which is cool and awful at the same time. Um, yeah, yep. <laughs> All right. Uh, next question. The, the, what was your next question you said? Is it you too? Yeah, for anyone who uh, didn't fight last year, what was it like starting to train? Another good question. Bulgarians punched, punched by a Bulgarian man <laughs> in the body, in the face, physically and emotionally. It's been draining overall. I second that. Third. All right. All right. Cool. Okay, we'll go on. Uh, next question. Give me an easy one. Let's do him. Yeah. Thanks so much, guys. Hi, I'm Sam. How are you guys feeling? Hi, Hello. Sam. Good. good. Sam. I'm really good, Sam. Great, Sam. Very happy, Hi, Sam. Here. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Good, uh, Sam. Hey, this one's for Dad. Dad, you formed I'm doing all right, Sam. Thanks. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to figure out you back there. But how, S Van, how are you doing? I'm, I'm doing okay. Hey, I, I, like, I had a pinched nerve. You know, <laughs> I heard. It's I, felt, I, you know, I was it's worried when you said that. Yeah, I broke my thumb two weeks before the Creator Clash. You broke your thumb last year, too. Well, no, no. I'm talking about last year, and now I have a pinched nerve in my neck. So I, I'm not even fighting. I like I got injured getting ready to announce. You almost fought twice, but you kept getting injured. Is what you're saying? Yeah. Well, well yeah. Creator Clash is dangerous. S Fan's gonna fight. Who wants to see S Fan fight some year? S Fan get in that ring. Yeah. Dude, my knee is just starting yeah. hurting. Like <laughs> anyway, right Sam, yeah, yeah, Sam, you so were would saying. You fight? I do have a real question. If we yeah. can do that, that'd be sick. Uh, <laughs> Dad. <laughs> Dad, I'm super interested in this. I've been following your journey from last year. You formed an unlikely alliance with somebody this year, Belle Delphine. Oh, yeah. Can you talk about how the hell that came to be? I'll, well, you can see in the Nathan channel that's been around since 2005, no one subscribed though, uh, <laughs> in the documentary from last year, Crave Crash 1, on the Nathan YouTube channel, Nathan Barnett, 2005, uh, <laughs> Belle DM'd me backstage during Creator Clash and Yoda, my friend and cameraman, uh, and John, were all standing there like, we're just gasping, like, did she text the wrong person? So she DM'd me and was like, I'm so proud of you, you're amazing. It's just so unexpected, like, we're very two separate spectrums of what we do. So uh, I was just pumped, she was a really nice girl, and we became friends, I went to England, I trained in England a little bit, and uh, filmed some videos, and I don't know with her, and now she's my good friend, and I love her, and she's a really fun and cool person, so. Yeah. Is she gonna box in a creator clash? She wants to box, I'm gonna put it out there. She, doesn't, she wanted a box, she didn't want a box, she doesn't know what she wants to do. She is around people who do MMA, I will say, in her personal life, so I think she could have some good influence. And I'm gonna put it out there, I would love to do a tag team event with Belle, co-ed tag team, her against Amaranth somebody, and then me Ooh. versus, I don't know, uh, some old man. Me, me, S-Fan. I will me fight Belle Delphine Bell next year. And Amaranth. Can I, so. say so can I say something? Belle Delphine uh, messaged me and told me good luck this morning. Just say so oh. no, she did. Oh. No, she did. Oh, oh, you, oh I do oh. want to say she oh, said she's good. holding a watch party and she's looking forward to me. Oh, that's boxing. good. Well, you want to say that also. You want to see what, what does this say? How long ago was was this? Belle Delphine invited me to her Halloween party. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> you got invited uh, five I'm hours ago. I'm not trying to compete with you, man. Uh, I'm married. I'm just saying. Before Halloween, uh, most like not on the day of, most likely before. So yeah, she Ooh. said good luck and she invited me over to her house again. So that's crazy. <laughs> It is also crazy. She did tell me that she was very excited to see me uh, ask questions. Belle has messaged tomorrow. everyone at Creator Clash. I'm not special. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Dad, you're the only one that went to England. She messages all of us. Hey, that's because I'm committed to the bit. <laughs> <laughs> all right, very good. Uh, next question. Hands, hands. Oh, hands. Yeah, her. Hello, this question is for Michelle. Uh, this is Maria representing Yes Theory and Seek Discomfort. So you have done some epic things out of your comfort zone. How does this, like what was the most uh, uncomfortable moment of training for this? I gotta answer this in front of Andrea? Oh my gosh. I'll cover my right. ears. Okay, I, I mean, yeah, we, lying, we've, all been, we've all been joking around but it's no secret that tomorrow we're all gonna go punch each other in the face tomorrow. And that's an extremely serious and dangerous thing that we're all about to do. So I think like each of us in our own journeys, some sooner rather than later, had that moment of realization of what it feels like to get punched in the face for the first time. And you're gonna see it tomorrow. And I'm, I just wanna say I'm really proud of everybody here because everyone has gone through that. Whether or not they posted on social media, if you're sitting up here, you've experienced that. And I think that's amazing. Thank you. I appreciate that, personally. Yeah, <laughs> <and> especially you. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Uh, questions? Any more questions? Hands up, hands up high. Right here. Uh, yeah. 
Uh, brown or red? I'm colorblind. I can't tell the shirt color. It, it's red. Nice. Red shirt. Yeah. I like red. So my first question here is for John, uh, James Hill, SB Nation. Um, just wondering what differences and what similarities have you seen between training for professional wrestling and then training for this boxing event? The script. The script is a pretty big difference. <laughs> like, like maybe the biggest difference possible. Why do you even have to ask that question? But go ahead, John. Tell us what's different other than the script. Luckily, I've got hit in the head so much that I have a script in my head that you're not going to like the ending to. <laughs> uh, the intensity is very similar. You have to train very hard for both. The actual activity of boxing versus professional wrestling is different, completely different. Um, when I started training, I asked Josh Barnett to train me, and uh, he said, yeah, and paused for a second and said, I'll train you, but just so you know, you're terrible at boxing. <laughs> To which I said, I know, I've never boxed. No one here is really a professional, a lot of new time like boxers, first timers, and I'm, I'm one of those. So I uh, poured my heart into the training with the same intensity that I've trained my whole life and learned something new that I haven't been doing a long time. And tomorrow we're gonna see how it goes. You're a fan, you're a fan of John, his wrestling. I mean, I'm a fan of you too. I, I know, well, I didn't know that, thank you. I appreciate it, but, <laughs> but I wanted to make a point. You're a fan of this guy, right? I mean, yeah, sure. So you recognize that it's actually really fucking cool for me that I get to go in the ring with this guy, right? I imagine that's a pretty cool thing. As a wrestling fan, you can recognize that that's a big deal, right? Let me, let me bring something yeah. up about him. After his fight last year, I just watched a YouTube video, one of the first people that barged into his interview to congratulate him was me. <laughs> I ran up to Harley, gave him a hug, and said, congrats, man, I wore my voice out screaming for you. So and, he, and then he whispered in my ear, cool I'm going to fuck you up next year, buddy. Uh, wait, would, John, would you say that's some long-term storytelling there? It was uh, serendipitous because it wasn't yeah. planned, and that's yeah. the way the best stories work out. Harley, things have kind of come full circle, full circle for you now? It, I like, yeah, it's, I mean, still being in this boxing nightmare was never part of the cards. I, as much as I portrayed, I'm not actually an aggressive person. I'm very happy and jovial, hanging out on my couch, having a good time, doing nothing. And now I have to fight. And I got to fight John Morrison. So it, it's, 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 been, it's been weird and it's been a lot. And, you know, you recognize he's a legend. I do that too. But a, a lot of people actually don't know, right? You recognize. Isn't that a shame? Because this is one of the most talented wrestlers ever. Woo! He is. He is. <laughs> and I think about it, and I'm like, you know, he never really got his like he deserved to get his in the wrestling world. It's pretty funny. So he thinks he's going to come over to my world and he's gonna take my seat at the table cause he's fucking old and washed up and he's gonna come here and take my shit but that's too fucking bad cause I'm also old and washed up. So I need this too, John. And hey, Harley, maybe hey, you're delulu, so buddy. You maybe you're question. delusional. Which old wrestler guy is gonna get the crap out of the other one? Every wrestler, sorry wrestlers, are the most delusional people on the planet. Oh, oh, but you know we what? We have like ten wrestlers coming tomorrow that are gonna. I don't hear give this. a shit. Hats you know up, what? Jim Duggan's gonna be here with a two by four. I gotta tell you, the only person more delusional than a wrestler is a fucking YouTuber. So he's old, he's washed up, he's delusional, and he wants to sit in my chair. Sorry, bitch. I'm old, washed up, and delusional. So mentally, I don't stop thinking about fucking John Morrison. Literally fucking John Morrison. I think about it all the time. Everything that can be visualized about John Morrison, I think about it. And I'm so honored to get in the ring with this guy. I can't believe John Morrison's gonna put me over. Can you believe that, buddy? Little wrestling fan, buddy? Can you fucking believe that? It's, it's almost John so Morrison that it's probably not gonna happen. There's gonna be a fight. Yeah. But John Morrison's put yeah. enough people over. Sorry, Harley. And bring all the wrestlers in one by one. I'll go through the whole team, whoever the fuck you bring tomorrow. It's interesting that you think this is your table. YouTube, maybe. Maybe it was. But boxing? YouTube boxing. 
YouTube boxing we're not the other promotions. We get it. We remember we're YouTubers here. We realize we're playing pretend and doing something for a good cause. We're not out there actually acting let's, like let's boxers. Let's be real for a second. We're all in character right now. I said a bunch of mean stuff. I know you did too. Everyone did. Come on. Mom, Mom we're joking. Where is she? <laughs> She's there. Yeah. I had breakfast next to Harley's mother this morning, and she told me that Harley is a very good boy. And he did, but he did Ask say he was going to kill him. me, and that's a possibility, Mom. I could actually die in the ring. You recognize and that, I right? Said, I know you're already nervous, nervous wherever you are, but you recognize was, that, right? No. You it, was, <laughs> it was a metaphor. Hopefully no one dies. John's wife is very intimidating. She's my not mother here is yet, more intimidating. She's on her way. Yeah, my mom versus, for, versus your wife. That's Next a main event. Flash Ooh, just throwing it out there. The winner of that would be the fans in attendance. That would actually be the uh, creator, creator clash. The creator of the <laughs> creator, creator clash. The sexual tension here is off the charts. Do you like Again, it though? Heat just emanating from Holly. It's a Again, lot. Tomorrow they're fighting. Okay, fight, not, not anything else. Not, no, no other F words. Very good. Great question. Thank you. I don't remember what it was, but it turned out to be great. great I don't remember what I said either. I regret everything. We got one over here. Uh, yeah, let's do one question right here in the front row. We'll do, we'll do one more question after this. Hello. Hi. So I just wanted to ask a, I want to do a quick, like, psychology thing for the fighters really quick, if that's okay. Okay, I'll be so yes. fast. It'll be really fast. Okay. Just by raising my hands, who thinks that they're going to get the knockout tomorrow? Knockout, 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 or just yeah. Okay, so yeah, on are, which end? What okay, kind so of knockout? Okay, so the people who are late to raise their hands, maybe you work on your confidence a little bit because a quick psychology thing is the more confident you are, the more you, likely that you are to win. Mm. That's very good. That's science. Hell yeah. yeah. Thanks, <laughs> man. That was helpful, sir. He's spitting, spitting for real. I know Chris didn't just raise his hand, did he? Yeah. I feel like we were supposed Thank you. to. Uh, it I felt guess. like one of those things where if you didn't participate, you were a loser. That was the that apology I, test. I'm just keeping oh, it no. real, bro. Chris, Aaron Chris that's just peer hand. pressure. Ah, oh, man. I did a little bit later. I thought you, about it for a second. You raised your hand. You know, they call me Harley because I defeated you last year. <laughs> in the future one. tomorrow. In the future tomorrow. You better go back in time and relive it again and you'll see my face. What the fuck is it's going not, on? It's not... He's been he sitting already, on he this one the it. whole press conference. I wanted to say it the whole time. He's tried like twice. <laughs> Remember when you were my dad? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna wait, wait, hold on. I'm gonna oh, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna get you, Jarvis. <laughs> Too far, man. I'm sorry. Too fucking I'm far. So sorry. Jarvis, can you say the line one more time? Which one? <laughs> the dad. The line? You're Harley dad. I didn't the dad hear it the other uh, four times. Hold on. You could be my dad because you're you, so old, you. you old dad. How old are you? Wait, isn't the biggest <laughs> like 32? What's the biggest age difference? Uh, maybe A, B, and I B. know my opponent's the oldest. We're 11. No, oh. actually, the most second oldest. The most oh, muscular sorry, sorry. is the oldest. You guys are friends. Then. The baldest is the second oldest. Sorry, uh, sorry. A, B, and I are 11 Good years apart. the older gentleman. Uh. Hey, we're ten. Part, we're Unlike ten my teenage son Matt Watson from last year. Hey, don't you talk about Matt? <laughs> I can't believe. I'm you sorry, up Joe Rogan. Son. I'm sorry. I saw a father son beating each other up. <laughs> You're not supposed to do that to They're your son. They're gonna say it again this year. I was 11 when you came out of my wiener. Baby. <laughs> the amount of people that actually thought you were his father? <laughs> they, I, mean, I, I was reading on, I just asked the comments, everything on Twitter, like, man, this guy just beat his son's ass. <laughs> you go bald and you're 50 at 21. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll do one last question. One last question right here. A second uh, round. Pinely. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Uh, this question is for Jay Luray. What is more physically and mentally taxing, training for boxing or playing League of Legends? <laughs> oh my gosh. Good question. Boxing has been great. I get a great break from that game. Fantastic. Um, I don't know. The boxing is really, I mean, it's taken a lot. Uh, kind of where I'm at, I have to really focus on like consistency as a creator and playing, unfortunately. And boxing has just kind of taken that, you know, taken that spot as number one priority right now, which is okay. It's definitely worth it. So, thanks. Oh, I'm a Lux. I probably could have guessed that. Definitely a Lux man. Definitely Lux support. So, <laughs> thanks. All right. Great stuff. Guys, thank you so much for joining us today. Woo! For our weigh-ins for the Creator Clash 2.
If you are watching at home, go to thecreatorclash.com. You guys can go and get tickets for the event tomorrow night. Pay-per-view tickets for the event tomorrow night. I believe it goes up to $34.99 at midnight. Is that right? Uh, yes. Okay. He should know, but really, we I know just what said, uh, knows. I just said, ah, uh, that's fine. <laughs> So make sure to go. Uh, it's for charity. It's an awesome event. It's an incredible event. And we cannot wait to have an absolutely amazing uh, set of fights tomorrow night. So again, thank you guys all for coming in person. Thank you guys all for watching at home. Woo! And we will see you all tomorrow night, www.thecreatorclash.com. Make sure to check out all these guys, sub to their YouTube channels, follow their streams, everything. So we'll see you guys next time.